This is a tutorial on the crazy tetrahedron Earth. And Earth is pretty much the same as a regular tetrahedron or Jinx Pyramid. And I actually don't have a Jinx Pyramid, so I'm not sure exactly how you solve that one. So it may be the same method or it might be slightly different. It should be slightly different though, because you can't turn this side when it's mixed up. So I'll mess it up a bit first. Okay, so this one you can't mess up the circle too much, actually, because there's only one circle to begin with. So, unlike the other ones, you don't have to worry about reducing those. What I'm first going to do is to get all of these white and all the edge pieces with white in it onto the side and in the correct spot. So I'm going to match this here. This part should be pretty straightforward. Like that. Okay, now I want to get these solved as well. And from here, all of these are solved, so I'm just looking over here. From here, I can, I had to put this one over here, so I'll take it out, put it back in, and that solves everything else. Like that. Okay, so now, I use two different algorithms. Well, only one actually for this particular, no, I use all of them. But, that algorithm only works when all, when all four of these corner pieces are mixed up. In this case, there's one that's solved, and everything else is not solved. So I can't use that algorithm. So before I do that, I just take this white piece and any other piece, white and orange, white and yellow, or white and blue. So I'm going to start with white and blue, and you just move it once. Make sure that this whole so these three corners are in the same spot. You can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And check, and it should work. If it doesn't, then try it one more time, it should work. So now this one's not solved, this one's not solved, this one's not solved, and this one is not solved. Now I can use my algorithm. So, what my algorithm does is, it always starts off facing this way, with this edge here, and two corners out in the back here. And the piece here is going to swap with this piece, so these two are going to flip, and these two are going to flip. That's why all four of them has to be mixed up. Now, this one has to come over here, and if I swap this one with this, this one will have to swap with this. This one will come here, and this one will come here. So, for this one, the algorithm is, well this is going to be L, this is going to be R, it's L, R inverted, L inverted, R, and that two more times, so a total of three times in all, L, L, R inverted, L inverted, R, one more, L, R inverted, L inverted, R. And now as you can see, all the corners are in their correct places. I just have to f rotate them. Now, this next algorithm, I start out like this. So two, the two corners are right here in front of you, and this edge is also in front of you. So the two corners I'm going to rotate will always be here. Just these two. This time, these two don't rotate at all, just these two. So one of the one of the algorithms I use is to rotate this one clockwise and this one counterclockwise. The other one is counterclockwise and clockwise. They're pretty much just opposites of each other. And I just have to keep in mind that I don't attempt to turn this one, this white side, as I'm doing it. So this one also incorporates only the left and the right sides. And for going the right for the right corner piece to turn clockwise and the left to go counterclockwise. I'm going to do L inverted, R, L, R inverted, times 2, or times 3, so 
a total of three times. One more, L inverted, R, L, R inverted. Again, L inverted, R, L, R inverted. And now the exact opposite of that. So I'm going to do L, R inverted, L inverted, R, and two more times. L, R inverted, L inverted, R, L, R inverted, L inverted, R. And that moves, rotates these corner pieces. Now turn it over here, and I see there's these two left. And I can't solve, start over here, because then I would use the white side, which I cannot. So I'm going to move this one down here or here. I'm going to move it down here. And I notice this time it has to turn clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, and this one has to go clockwise. So this time I'm going to use the exact opposite of what I did last time. And I'm going to start with L, R inverted, L inverted, R times 3. Now the exact opposite. L inverted, R, L, R inverted, times 3. And move this once, and that's how you solve the crazy tetrahedron Earth. Thank you for watching.